Just a couple more things to finish up and we've got a couple of keyframes here. I'm going to do this one and rotate this a little bit here and then return back to the normal one there just by copying and pasting that key. And we see that we've got a little bit of animation regarding rotations. Now it's a little bit hard to fake this, but a lot of times what will happen is something will go way out of whack and plus equals 360, a curve may go around the wrong way and 360 degrees. And this is often due to a thing called gimbal lock or oil rotations. And you'll get this sort of weird flipping between keyframes. Sometimes it might not be as bad as that. It might be not be a full 360. It might be 180 or something like that. But it's obvious in the graph editor when you frame things and you can start to see that we're moving a long way, either 180 degrees or 360 degrees. That and something's going weird with our arms or something that's going around that shouldn't be. And this can be very frustrating frustrating as an animator and there's an easy fix for this if we select those curves come down into the Euler filter and hit that. It's Euler, pronounced like oil, but well, it's a German Swiss thing. But if you hit that button, that will just sort of retain the keys. Now what happens there is it sort of draws the, the closest line between two points. So the least amount of rotation possible. Now this doesn't fix all gimbal problems, but if you do that, you'll watch the, the cube here again. Euler filter, it isn't moving. Okay, it just the in-betweens are moving and becoming shorter. So now that when we scrub between those two closest points, we're moving to the two closest points. So it's worth knowing that because because if you do require, you know, a ninja to be doing lots of backflips or something like that, then you will want to be very careful using the Euler filter. But you can probably use it in sections but based on selection and things like that. Certainly use it on selected curves. It is there. It's a very handy one. Won't fix all problems, but it is a good one for fixing gimbal problems there.